Namaste. In this video, we are going to use this Newton Cotes formula which we have generated or derived in previous video to find the integration of functions. Okay. So these are the three formulas where n equals to 1, n equals to 2 and n equals to 3. So let us consider a function. Okay. Let us consider a function as fx is equals to x square. Okay. f of x is equals to x square. So when n equals to 1, we use this formula. Yes. That is f of x naught x1 f of x dx is equals to h by 2 f naught plus f1 and let the range be like this for example 0 to 2 fx dx so since n equals to 1 h is equals to x1 minus x naught divided by n is 1 so h is 2 now we have to find the value of f naught and f1 so f of x naught is equals to 0 it is 0 so it means 0 square is 0 similarly f of x1 it is equals to 2 so 2 square is equals to 4 so we use this formula that means f of 0 to 2 integration fx is equals to formula is h is 2 so 2 by 2 and f naught is 0 plus it is 4 f1 is 4 so it is equals to 4 yes now we use same function and find its integration by using this second quote formula okay second newton's quote formula so for this we need n equals to 2 that means you write x naught to x2 fx dx is equals to h by 3 f naught plus 4 f1 plus f2 okay so we have to calculate it okay 0 to 2 fx dx so s is equals to 2 minus 0 divided by since n equals to 2 it is 2 so 2 minus 0 divided by 2 is 1 and we have to calculate f naught f1 and f2 so f naught is equals to f of x naught yes so x naught is 0 so it means 0 square is 0 now f1 f1 is x1 yes and x1 is calculated from x naught plus h so 0 plus x naught is 0 0 plus h means 1 0 plus 1 is 1 yes so f of 1 is equals to 1 square it gives 1 similarly f of 2 it is f of x2 and x2 is 2 so it is 2 square it is 4 that means we apply the formula like this so it is 0 to 2 fx dx is equals to h is 2 sorry 1 h is 1 by 3 f naught is 0 plus 4 into f1 is 1 plus f2 is 4 so it is 8 by 3 okay it is equals to what is the value of it it becomes 2 point 8 by 3 means okay it is 2.66 so this is the value when we use n equals to 2 yes now again let's use third formula okay so third formula is this that is for 0 to 3 sorry 0 to 2 fx dx so you have n equals to 3 for third case n equals to 3 
so h is calculated as x2 okay x3 minus x0 divided by 3 it is equals to 2 by 3 and f of x0 it is 0 since it is 0 square f of x1 okay so x1 is calculated as x0 plus h it is 2 by 3 whole square it is what is the value of it 4 by 9 similarly f of x2 it is equals to 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 is 4 by 3 whole square it gives 16 by 29 okay, 16 by 9 yes and again f of x3 it is 2 so 2 square is 4 now we use the same formula so z to 2 fx dx is equals to 3 into h is 2 by 3 and f0 is 0 3 into f1 is 4 by 9 plus f2 is 16 by 9 plus f3 is 4 so what is the value we get 2 into it is 4 by 3 plus 16 by 3 plus 4 so we get it as okay 2 into 4 by 3 plus 16 by 3 plus 4 so we get it as 21.33 so in this way we get three different value that is 4 2.66 and 21.33 in this way we have used newton codes formula to find the integration of fx yes so in next video we will be deriving similar type of formula for trapezoidal rule and simpson rule Thank you and bye-bye.